if we think about the early days of this science, the science of, of what we call positive psychology or the science of well-being, these 24 strengths were thought of as the wellsprings, the wellsprings of a good life or a life that's fulfilled. And I like that kind of word and kind of the imagery that is conjured up when we think of wellsprings, like this uh, kind of like this internal fountain that is within us and that kind of flows out in all sorts of different directions. So when we tap into those strengths of creativity or leadership or teamwork, and then they move out of us and they flow and they impact people in different ways. So that's one way you can start to think about character strengths. Let me offer you a, a few more. So another way to think about strengths is to think of them as sort of the roads or the paths to the great virtues. So the great virtues that the ancient philosophers and uh, theologians and educators and various groups have, have talked about over the centuries are, are virtues like wisdom and courage and humanity and justice. And these character strengths are mapped out as the particular roads or the pathways to those virtues, toward making those virtues happen. So if a person wants to live a life of greater virtue, a life of greater wisdom, courage, humanity, uh, temperance, and so on, they need to be tapping into particular character strengths in order to get there.